Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. Hello, my name is Charlene. I haven't been here in a minute. So hello from the other side. It's been a while. So I've come on here today to pretty much talk about um, tape and hair extensions. I experienced them for about two months and I wanted to kind of like give you guys the whole rundown on my experience and everything that has to do kind of like with tape and extensions based off my experience with them. So let's get it caught in here. Um, I took them off yesterday but um, I literally feel like I have two strands of hair so I automatically have to put my clip-ins in. These are my Bellamy clip-ins. I have a discount code with them. It's Charm KP, it saves you, I think it's 10 or 15% off your entire purchase. So definitely check them out. I'll leave the exact ones that I have on down below. But either way, let's get into it. Let's get into this. If you guys hear like background noise, um, it's definitely Isla. She's watching Secret Life of Pets 2 and she's obsessed with that movie. And I had to literally like buy it for her on YouTube because they discontinued it from Netflix. So. Yeah, if you're hearing screaming in the back, that's my daughter. If you're new here, I have a daughter. She's two years old, but she's about to be two years old, literally, November 25th. So, I don't even want to think about it because I'm so angry. Like, I can't. I cannot. Like, how does time go by so quickly? Like, I really don't get it. I don't understand at all. Um, I bought my hair on Amazon. I was looking at another website. And, um, it, unfortunately the length that I wanted was sold out. Um, and I really didn't know any other website to go off of. Um, I know Bellamy carries them and stuff like that, but, um, since it was my first time, I didn't want to like splurge, if that makes sense. I wanted to kind of like test the waters out and see like how I would feel about them and stuff like that. So believe it or not, I got my hair on Amazon. It was 22 inches or 24 around there. And they matched perfectly. All I had to do was give them like a good trim to like this, where the length that I wanted them. I didn't want them super long. I kind of wanted them like my belly extensions, which are like a little bit um, underneath my boob. Um, Cause I just feel like that looks most flattering on me. So that's what we did. Um, and I paid $150 for installment, which is super cheap because i feel like anywhere else they would charge you 350 dollars and more so that was super cheap for my extensions i paid for four packs which um was exactly what i needed for my entire head and i still even have like some like a little bit of the fourth pack left i didn't put all of it in um well we didn't put all of it in and i <laughs> hi mama so i had four packs and that was about $350 I would say don't knock down the camera Island. I see you hey hey I said no I tell you these toddler stages the terrible twos they're real people they're freaking real and if you think they're not I have I have a word with I have to have a word with you because girl they are real they're very much real anyway back to the subject so $350 for the hair and $150 for installment and they were on my head for about two months well literally like two months already so um now that we got pricing out of the way this is just the pricing that I have and every price it may vary like I said so we could charge way more for installment and also you can end up spending even 500 to 600 dollars just on here so keep that in mind um okay so now um to the main question like what are the pros and what are the cons of like having you know tape and extensions in i was told to not put them in because i have curly hair naturally and i would always have to have to style my hair they do sell ones that are already curly so you won't have that issue if your hair is super curly and you do want to have the tape and extensions in my hair is like a wavy texture so mine's were perfectly fine and they would dry up but i still have to keep on styling them washing my hair 
I honestly, I rate that out of 10, I rate that a number four because girl, like yeah. I would literally have to give myself at least 10 shampoos and I, my head would still feel like it's not clean. Like it's really hard to get in between like the, the, um, the tapes in order to like properly like wash your hair doing my hair also took a very long time like way longer than it normally would yes i know come say hi to the camera you haven't been on the camera in so long see hello hi <laughs> really long time to be able to wash my hair and do my hair normally it takes me around 30 minutes but that's because a bitch has no hair so um it's understandable i just wasn't ready for all of that so washing my hair was honestly like the worst part for me styling it not so much but washing my hair was like the worst part for me because i really wanted to like just get in there and i really couldn't because you know the tapes were like avoiding me from doing so um so that was that also i feel like towards the end um my hair had a lot of like build up already so that's why i decided to just take them off before the three months um they say the last three months but one of you guys reached out to me yesterday and told me they're supposed to be taking them out and reapplying them every six weeks did i have any idea of this no i did not of course i did it because obviously hello Either way, um, the pros, I would say, is you wake up and you look freaking stunning every single day because you have a full head of hair and it's always styled and it always looks good and you don't really have to, like, you know, worry about your hair too much because it just always looks good. Like, you could do a nice fresh braid, you could do a nice high ponytail and it looks nice and full and with a lot of length and volume like whatever you want to do to your hair you just always gonna look good like that's like the pro for me and that's a big pro for me because as you guys know as mom girl i don't got no time i have no time as a mom as a business owner as ever all the above wash your hair in depth like i do and um it you don't really like to spend too long doing your hair i mean i do my own hair so maybe that's why but if you go to the salon or something like that then girl you did you're you're fine hun. literally like you go to the salon you get your hair washed by them you get them styled by them and you're good hun. me on the other hand i don't got time to go to the salon so i'm gonna leave the baby with like these are things that i like, think about like i can't go to the salon so am i gonna really leave the baby with to go to the salon like there's nobody jason works like a madman so i'm pretty much here with her alone in the house all the time um all day until like you know he comes back from work at night and that's that so you know i have to do things my way and figure out how to do my hair which i've always pretty much done my hair my whole life so that's nothing new for me but if i wanted that extra luxury of not having to do my hair because of the extensions because of the tapings and stuff like that like you know I have to like schedule that out a whole week ahead and maybe more so if you do your own hair eh, do i recommend it maybe maybe not it really depends like if you have the time um i don't really have time and i still manage so i guess but um in the like in general do i recommend them i honestly I really like them. I love the way it made me feel. It made me feel like so confident. It made me feel like a bad bitch. You know what I mean? Like anywhere I walk in, I would just be like, you know, like my hair. <laughs> so it felt really nice. Um, so yeah, I think I would definitely get them done again. I don't think I won't. Um, it's just definitely like a learning experience and things that I didn't know before that I learned now. So I definitely would get them done again. I do recommend them. Um, another thing I would say is my head felt really heavy, like when I first uh, got them installed. But then after I washed them for the first time, my head literally felt like a hundred pounds lighter. Like I'm not even joking. It is a little uncomfortable to kind of like sleep with them, but you get used to it. Just like everything, you know what I mean? You adjust. You know what I mean? You adjust to situ certain situations. Well, you adjust to your head feeling super heavy this video is all over the place so if you're new here i am so sorry 
Um, yeah, I don't know what else to tell you, but we're, we're getting there, you know? Um, obviously, it's been a while, so I'm a little rusty, you know what I mean? Um, but we're getting there. We're gonna get there, again, slowly, but we're gonna get there. As I was saying, I would recommend them if you, you know, you like to have a full head of hair, volume, length, 24-7, and you don't mind kind of like the, you know, a little heaviness because it doesn't entirely go away. It just keeps getting better or you just keep getting used to it. It's more of like the word, like you start getting more used to just having like all that hair on you 24 seven because like with clip-ins, which is what I have on right now. I literally like, like I said at the beginning of this video, my hair, I'm gonna insert a, a picture here of what my hair looks like after taking them off and honestly like i don't remember my hair being this 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 like short or thin like i don't know maybe it's just me maybe it was like that like looking back at pictures i'm like okay it kind of was um it's just like i don't remember how thin it felt and how short it, it is naturally because of the fact that you know i had extensions in bless you baby i had extensions in for two months so that was like a big difference like right now i have my clip-ins on and i don't even feel them i have my clip and extensions in and i had to put them in i was gonna come on here without them but honestly i just do not feel like a bad bitch without short ass hair like i just don't feel as confident i don't know how to explain it like i don't feel as confident as i do when i have my extensions in and my long hair so i don't know i'm thinking of transitioning and going back to like a light brown with some low lights or some highlights and um letting my and like cutting my hair like not super short but like a good length and letting it grow out and just like let, get it healthy before i ever go again and do a blonde because i feel like right now if i go ahead and do a blonde again which i do have an appointment coming up my hair is just gonna fall off so that's where i'm at in life right now and with my hair journey um you know i mean i feel like you guys have been here for a while in order for you to know that i've been coloring my hair for the past five years and it's been blonde and i just keep going blonder and blonder and blonder as long as my hair permits obviously so you know now that we're talking about hair and stuff that's what i feel like but either way um i'm, in I'm gonna insert a picture here of what my hair looks like right after um pretty much just taking the extensions off and the way i took the extensions off so i didn't sammy helped me which is my niece in law and she used 91 percent alcohol i'm sorry i'm just looking at it it's right up there she used 91 percent alcohol and she used like a comb with one of like the little thin like ends and she kind of just did it that way she sprayed on it and then it just came off um, so that's how we removed it and then I put like a treatment on my hair and stuff like that before I washed it and did my hair today but I'm gonna show you guys a picture of what it looked like like right after and a picture of what it looked like after I did my hair today and I'm also showing you a picture of how much hair I lost here like while we were removing them not that crazy but you know there's still a lot of hair there either way um according to google you lose about 100 hair strands each day so i'm assuming that because they were like you know taped in they were like stuck there and i weren't i wasn't able to lose them because like honestly like i would brush my hair and nothing would come out not even with like the extensions um so yeah really really like cool detail that i thought i just throw it in there in case you were wondering um but yeah that was that the amazon hair that i bought actually turned out to be really freaking good i was super impressed i mean it had a lot of great reviews but when it comes to amazon and stuff like that i'm always still like sketchy you know a little suspicious so i was like it might not work out it may work out but they gotta work out and they still look kind of like brand new kind of you know there's no little rough but with like little conditioner and stuff like that i think they'll be good to like rewear again 
I'm not sure if I'm gonna rewear those again because like I said, I might be going darker. I'm not gonna stay this light and I'm honestly so sad. <laughs> Every time I say that, I never do it because it's just like, I'm so used to being blonde and I just love the look of being blonde and like how it makes me feel. So it's a battle. Every time I go in there, I'm like, okay, we're going darker. And then I'm like, okay, never mind. You've done the same blonde, you know? So we'll see what happens. Um, if you're on Instagram, you'll see it first. <laughs> so yeah. And if you follow me on Instagram, of course, you'll see it first. If you don't follow me, my Instagram is S-H-A-R-M-K-U-P. So Char M K P. Um, and yeah, follow me on there if you don't follow me. I'm pretty sure I covered everything, even though it might have been all over the place and like the information wasn't like, you know, in order. Um, then just let me know. To end of the video, you guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope I was informative enough. If you have any other questions or anything that I might have forgotten to mention here, please let me know in the comments down below. Ask me in the comments down below. I'll be answering. And, um, yeah, thank you for watching, thank you for tuning in, thank you for staying subscribed to me, even though I haven't posted in so long, literally ever since my engagement, I haven't posted, so like, you're the, you're the real MVP for that one, you're the girl, you're real coffee, you're girl, but <laughs> we're getting back into it, we're getting back into it. I'm not gonna promise, like, oh my god, I'm posting every Monday, every Tuesday, because that's not gonna happen. And I don't want to like set myself up like that, you know? So, as of right now, I'm not putting a schedule because, yeah, we'll just leave it at that. But you will be seeing me pop in here and there a lot more often. The next video is going to be a makeup tutorial because I miss doing those so much. So if you guys are interested in any type of look or any look that I've done on Instagram and you want me to recreate it and post it on here, then definitely let me know in the comments down below or give me any ideas of anything you would want to see for the next video. We're gonna be sitting down, we're gonna be sipping on some wine and we're gonna be doing our makeup. Thank you very much. So that's it, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, I hope it was informative enough. And um, I hope to see you guys soon again. And yeah, have a wonderful night, day or afternoon, wherever you are. And I will see you guys on my next video. As always, don't forget to subscribe, like and comment on this video and turn your bell notifications on so you're notified every time that I upload, which is not often. So I won't be annoying, but if I do, you'll be notified.